Hi, my name is Mira. I'm a six year Dutch medical student. And today I'm going to tell you how I study for Yosemite step one, because I've made a couple videos about me going to the library. However, I never really showed you guys what I'm actually studying. I'm sorry if I look a little bit tired. I am really tired. It's currently almost 9 p.m. I've studied the whole day. This thing is not working, so don't look at this. Uh, but this is going to be a chill video. If you don't know what Yosemite Step 1 is, it's a medical school exam. American students take that exam. Um, it's part of their uh, education, of their medical school education. However, for me, I'm a Dutch medical student, so I don't really have to do that. However, I just want to keep my options open. And it's also something that's probably really good for your resume. So I thought, why not just do it? I don't know if I'm getting it. It's hard. It's really hard. But uh, yeah, I think it's really good for me. But the most important thing that you need to have for this exam is and this. This is first aid and this is the 2020 version. I also have the 2017 version, so that means that I'm studying for this exam for three years. However, I think the last couple of months are the only months that I'm really focused studying for this exam. Before that, I was trying, but I also had electives, so it was really hard to combine those two. Since two months, I'm really dedicating my time to this exam. Um, I'm studying for this exam full time now. I'm going to the library every single day. So if you want to check out my vlogs about me going to the library, check them out. I will also link them down below. But yeah, this is the most important book. It's my baby. Honestly, it's my baby. So this first aid book has different chapters. Chapters, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, um, so you have biochemistry, you have microbiology, endocrine, neurology and i'm currently studying psychiatry um, and i have to say i really like psychiatry so how i study for psychiatry i know it's really bad but when i'm reading about a certain disorder or like a certain personality disorder i always think about a certain situation or a certain person and that helps me to really remember <laughs> the things that i'm studying for example, if I read about narcissistic personality disorder, I think about specific people who I think have it. <laughs> and that really helps me to remember symptoms. For example, for a narcissistic personality disorder, lacking empathy, I'm like, oh, I think that person lacked empathy. And <laughs> that's the way I remember certain things. And I feel like that's why I really like... <laughs> And that's why I really like psychiatry, because it's a little bit more relatable, somehow. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's more relatable. So I'm going to show you how my first aid book looks. A little disclaimer, I wanted it to look like, you know, those Pinterest notes and all those beautiful highlighters. However, it didn't work out that way. It looks horrible. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, just a little disclaimer. So welcome to my first aid book. The first chapter is by chemistry. And as you can see, I highlight some things, you know. Let's go to psychiatry. So here we have psychiatry, my favorite subject to study. So here you can see that I highlight a lot. And as you can see, it's nothing like Pinterest. I'm sorry about that. And here you can see that I use different highlight colors. And you're probably like, oh, that probably has reason. It doesn't. It doesn't have a reason. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget that I'm using a certain highlighter. And then afterwards I pick another one. And then I'm like, oh, that's the wrong color. So that is what's happening right here. And here. And here. So what I did is I went to Board and Beyond. That's an online lecture series. And I watched, for example, right now, psychiatry. And then I'm just listening to it. And sometimes if he's saying something 
that's not in my first aid i will write it down sometimes he says that something is really important and that's when i highlight certain things and then afterwards i go to your world your world is our online question bank and i do every practice question for psychiatry the question bank that i'm using for you simply step one is your world um, that's the most popular one and i'm going to show you how it looks your world step one question bank so i started the questions for psychiatry two days ago and as you can see i scored 75 percent the first time that i did questions and that's something that i'm really happy about my first test in psychiatry was 75 percent and as you can see the average was 64 percent and today i also did 40 questions and I scored 72%. The average is 70% and I'm above average. I honestly think that psychiatry might be my strongest uh, subject, uh, but we shall see. However, if we go to neurology, we see 20%. However, that's because it was only one question. But before that, if we go back, we see for neurology, we see 62%, 62%, 47%, 65 75%. So, I don't know. Neurology is still not my strongest subject. It's really fluctuating. Um, but, you know, that happens. So, let me show you the questions. So, for example, the last one. So this is question 35. Here you see the question and afterwards the answers, of course. And I got this one right, just like 89% of the other students. So maybe it's not that special. Anyways, afterwards you can see the explanation. And the best thing about this question bank is that they get amazing explanations. Here you can see major depressive episode versus grief reaction. And afterwards, I think the most important thing is that um, I try to read everything from this explanation because they're not only telling you why the answer is right, but also why the other answers are wrong. And that's something that is really important because the next time you're probably going to get a question about the other answers. I try to read everything. So, for example, I got this answer right, but I still read everything. I still write the most important things about this explanation in my first aid. So every time that I'm reading an explanation, I go back to my first aid. Here they're talking about major depressive episodes. So let's go to major depressive episodes. So here we have major depressive disorder. So then I always look if the explanations are also in my first aid. And if they're not in there, I annotate the most important things from that question bank in my first aid so that at the end of the day i will have like a first aid book with everything that i need so that i don't need to go back to other resources i feel like the thing that i'm struggling the most with is that it's a lot of things that you have to remember um, and i feel like every time that i go to another subject i forget the things that i already studied so it's really hard to study for new subjects while also try to remember the old subjects it's something that i'm really struggling with uh, but i'm trying to have like a good schedule and try to remember that i also have to go back otherwise it's a waste of time because if you're not going to go back and try to remember it again then you're going to forget it and it was all for nothing so i have to remember that so something that will hopefully help me is this i've bought a notebook I always buy notebooks because somehow it always makes me feel like I'm organized. <laughs> However, uh, it's not the case. But I feel like this hopefully will help me to uh, remember the high yield things. So what I'm going to do is, for example, I'm trying to remember biochemistry again. So uh, when I'm reading biochemistry, um, there are certain things that I'm not going to remember. For example, medications. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write those things down in this notebook every evening i'm trying to go through this notebook um, and try to remember everything that i have to remember about it let me show you something that also helps me to remember things i put this on my wall because this is biochemistry metabolism so here you see glycolysis here you see the enzyme here you see fatty acid synthesis fatty acid beta oxidation so I thought if I put it on my wall, I will hopefully remember it. I have to be honest, I haven't looked at it at all. 
And I thought because it's right above my bed that it will probably be something that I would look at every single night, but that's not the case. I always just look the other way, pretending that it's not here. <laughs> I was a little bit in a hurry when I put this on my wall and I didn't really notice that I didn't put it uh, the right way. Oh my God, it looks horrible. <laughs> Do you see the painting? If you can see the pa painting and then I, I messed up my wall, I know. Something that I'm extremely proud of is this. These are my beautiful flashcards for microbiology. Don't mind my handwriting. And of course I have to show everyone that I made those flashcards because I don't know, it looks cool. It looks really pretty. Yeah, so I made those flashcards for microbiology. The plan was to make more flashcards for other subjects. However, I don't really have the time to do that. And there's also an online flashcard program. So I'm using Anki sometimes. So this was a short video about how I started for you Semi Step 1. Hopefully you've learned something from it. And if you're planning to do this exam, good luck, you can do it. And if you have questions about this exam, then comment them down below. I will try my best to answer them and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.